got all your assignments to give back. My name's Georgie Holbeach and I live here in Perth, Western Australia where I'm studying. I work as a tutor at university and um, I'm a student um, and I'm completing a PhD in oh. mineralogy and geochemistry. Right, has anybody done the tute work? I've never been super thin, but I was always normal growing up. It wasn't until I moved to Perth, away from my family who live in Melbourne, that I really started to, to stack on the kilos. I was playing on play equipment with um, some children of my friends and I got stuck going down the slide um, and I had my phone in my back pocket and I broke it. I headed out for dinner with a friend um, and we took a table outside and I went to sit down and realised I couldn't really fit in a seat and I tried but it had metal arms and it was so uncomfortable, so painful. I had to ask the waiter to bring me a chair from inside that didn't have arms and I was humiliated. I didn't want to stay and eat dinner. I wanted to leave. I was so embarrassed. Christmas is full of friends and family and food and going home was challenging. It would be big gaps of time since my family last saw me and inevitably I'd put on more weight and I felt judged. I saw the way people looked at me. I saw the look of maybe disappointment and maybe just shock that I'd managed to put on even more weight. And I just didn't want to be there. I'd rather be back in Perth by myself than having to spend time there and feel that sort of look of disappointment in my family's eyes at what I'd become. I heard about Cambridge on Today Tonight and the women had had such success with their weight loss. Cambridge is very black and white. If you do what you're told, follow the plan, it can't fail. And of course, I had my consultant, Nikki. Every step of the way, every question I had, she was there for me. If ever I was feeling weak, I had her to call or text or email all the time. And that was a winning combination. Has it proven to myself that I can do anything I can set my mind to? Definitely. If I can do this, I can do anything. I can take charge of my life again. I can take charge of other things in my life that are really important, like finishing university and getting back into spending time with people and enjoying all the things that I used to enjoy before I let myself get to such a low point. I can move so much better now. In terms of what I do, I do a lot of field work and my job's very physical and everything just got in the way of me being able to do my job effectively. I was really the weakest link in the team. I work as a tutor at university and um, I'd had some great kids over the years. Um, I'd come back after the summer break and was taking some of the strain, same students. And they were a little bit standoffish. So how was your summer? All three months of it. Have you taken us for a class before? Yeah, Dynamic Planet, EART 1105. Your favourite unit of all time. <laughs> George, George. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> oh, finally you picked who I am. Oh my God, what has happened? Where have you gone? And whipped out his phone. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, finally, kicks in. A bit of recognition. <laughs> you look really good. Oh, thanks. None of them had recognised me from when they'd had me the previous year, and they were just so excited and so happy for me, and so overjoyed at the changes that I'd made in my life. It was it was really quite touching and special.